Hello. Good afternoon, Patrick. Ron calling from the Corporate Liaison Team with uh, Living Spaces. How are you doing? Good. How, how are you doing? I'm great, thanks. Reason for the call is we were actually alerted to your case here at Corporate by our social media team. I understand you had reached out to them with a complaint. Well, we reached out multiple times. We reached out to the store. We reached out to the social media team. We reached out to Corporate. We didn't get any responses. We got, you know very lack of accountability from uh, everyone we've talked to at Living Spaces. It's been very frustrating. Oh, no. Tell me, well, tell me everything that's happened. Well, uh, my wife and I uh, went in there and we bought some furniture. We bought a table, some chairs. We bought an outdoor, uh, very nice, um, expensive umbrella. Mm -hmm. And the umbrella was supposed to come with a Bluetooth speaker. And when they delivered it, they didn't deliver the speaker. Well, it was raining for the whole week and a half after that, but before we noticed that it, it wasn't there because mm. we didn't go out and open the umbrella in the rain. And when we called, they said, sorry, it's been more than seven days. It's no longer a delivery issue. It's now a warranty issue. So we had to go and try to submit a warranty issue. And then we got the run around there saying, no, it's not a warranty issue. It's a new item issue. Mm. So we went back and forth. We went back and forth multiple times. And we could never get a, a clear answer. The the store manager was very rude to us, very uh, unaccommodating. And, uh, you know, we, we never really got a clear answer. They said, oh, we might ship it to you. It could be six to eight weeks. Just wait around and see if you get it. Okay. Okay. Um, and we still don't have it. And it's been two months. And no, here, let me pick that up. And we have got no resolution. And, uh, Really, really frustrated with the company. I would never shop there again. Would not recommend it to our friends. And uh, basically, I'm just on a mission to to notify people how terrible the customer service is. That's what I'm doing. Oh, gosh, well, I'm sorry to you've had this experience. Um, so I'm sorry. You so you said you bought an item that had a Bluetooth speaker attached. Was that correct? Yes, it was an outdoor umbrella. There's another one right there. It's an outdoor umbrella. You don't have the model number on that or the product uh, SKU code or anything like that? Uh, I, I have it in an email. Um, I'm actually out on a walk right now, so I'm not um, available to access that right now. But I, I've given that information to multiple people. I have my receipt in the system if uh, you guys care to go look it up. Yeah, I'm just trying to look that up now so I can see exactly what the model was. Um, see, the only the only umbrella that we sell that has a Bluetooth speaker that is an optional extra. So that is something you purchase separately from the manufacturer. Uh huh. Um, so I don't know if maybe you've you've got confused there, but normally the the only product I can see that matches that description, it's like an optional extra. So it has the bracket and everything to put it into, but you would buy that separately from the manufacturer. I think that may be where the confusion has come from. No, the, the umbrella we bought had it included with the speaker. We we paid for it. It was a it was a package deal. Oh, so it was one of, right? Okay, yeah. I'm just looking up some historical information. There. Yeah, it may have been sold as a package. Just bear with me a moment while I look into that. Just one moment. Can we stop for a second? Okay, yeah, I can see the package here. Um, what I'm going to do, if it's all right with you, is I'm just going to place a call to my warehouse manager to see if he has any of those in stock and if they actually have the speaker there. That's exactly what the last two people did, but go for it. Yeah, and then they and then they told us they would call <laughs> us back, and then they would never call us back, and we'd have to call back and follow up, and we'd. We've had to do this multiple times where they say they're going to do something and then we end up being the one having to follow up. Okay, well, I, I'd be happy to help you with this right now at the corporate level. I, I would appreciate it if your wife didn't yell out abusive comments like that. It's really not helpful and I, you know, she's not well, part of this discussion. What did she say? Can, you, can you request, can I request that you repeat what you thought was abusive maybe you misheard i didn't hear anything. well no, I'd, I'd, I'd rather not repeat it but your wife's yelling out trying to insert herself into the conversation and i'd appreciate it if she can just be quiet while we resolve this 
uh, well, my wife's part of the conversation as we were the both shopping. She wasn't saying anything rude, so. Yeah, uh, I mean, she's just. She thought she was, and she was not. But, I, but I'll, I'll, I'll speak. She's doing now. it now. I'll, I mean, she's still she's yelling out for attention, and I can't really tell what she's saying. But if you no, could just ask her to. Yelling out for attention. I don't appreciate that. Whoa. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Okay. Can you continue? Yeah, have you have you got her under control there? Uh she's always been under control and I'm not her master, Good. so she Good. can control herself. I don't appreciate the the gender specific downplay. It's not nice. All right. Uh well, would you like me to try and help with this issue? Uh, obviously. Can you help, or you just call to be rude? No, I can absolutely help, sir. You're the one whose bitch wife started yelling shit in the background while I was trying to do my job. Are you serious? Are yeah, you I, serious? do you think I'm going to take this crap hey, off her? Hey, listen to me, dickhead. Hey, I'm not the one who called you and offered to help, you stupid fuck. Now you listen so to you me, you rude. whiny, effeminate-voiced like fucking bitch, bitch you boy. You, you little cuckold motherfucker, you. You cuckold motherfucker, you, with your wife you calling all the shots. Me. Good this job wearing the pants me. over there, dickhead. Yeah, no, well Go done. Well done, well done, well done, letting your wife call the shots over there. Listen to you, listen to you, you sound like a bitch. Wow. I got, him, I got him riled up. Scoby, do you want to call as my manager? Deliver the fucking yeah, who Bluetooth. Are we? Uh, living spaces. Deliver the fucking Bluetooth speaker right up his ass. Yeah. Is that what it is? A Bluetooth speaker? Yeah, he wants a Bluetooth speaker that attaches to his umbrella. The, the prick. Get him, Scoby. Your call has been forwarded. Oh, no, come on, buddy. Come on. Put up more of a fight than that. His wife was a real bitch, though. Your name. Hello, can you hear me? My name is Scoby. I'm a manager of Living Spaces. Can you hear me? Oh, what the fuck? Try one more time. I'll keep calling. Don't worry. They're getting all mad over there. Your call has been forwarded to it. Damn it. Sir, my name is Scoby. I'm a manager with Living Spaces. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, what I'm trying to figure out exactly what is going on. Uh you were just speaking to one know. of my employees, you have right? Working there? I'm listening. I don't know. I don't know who you have working there, but whoever that was that called me. And said he was here for customer service to fix our issue. Started cursing at me about my wife, being very rude. Called my wife a bitch. Said she tried to insert herself into the situation. Asked me if I had her under control, and then started cursing at me like "fuck you" and blah blah blah. I don't appreciate that at all. That and that was who you just got off the phone with, correct? Yeah, he had an English accent. You want to hear my wife wants to say something. So Thank you. I was the one that was dealing with this more than my husband. I'm the one who has yes, been going back and forth with emails. So all I said, my husband has on speaker, it's my money too that we were shopping with. And this guy came off very macho. And I didn't say anything. He said I was, I was rude. What did he say I was at first? abusive he called me abusive and all i said was oh yeah we've been dealing with this for like three months now that was literally all i said and he goes handle your wife she's abusive and then he said do you have control of that bitch i was sitting right here i i mean where what country is he from that women do not have the right to be privy to a conversation that i was 100 percent a party of what country are we, are we in America? Yes. Huh? Uh, of course, ma'am. Uh, yes, yes, we are. Yes, ma'am. Okay, why do you say to put your woman in place, your bitch? 
no, I can't get past that. I can't believe I've lived on this planet for 50 years and I'm getting shut down by a man. Well, I, I think that the, the the gentleman that you speak, you said his name. Did you, did you catch the name? I believe it was. You can take that back. No one is a gentleman that calls a woman a bitch. He's not a gentleman. He was. Uh, I'm not even going to say. He, yeah. My daughter was right here. Heard everything on speaker. She was about to just lose her mind. She oh asked, no! Don't I tell mean, me that, ma'am. No, you, your daughter heard the conversation? Yeah, yeah, she's right here. And she was like, are, are we on speaker now? Are we on speaker now? Are we on speaker now? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Did you know uh, the, Mickey Mouse is a Mexican? What the hell does that have to do with this? What are you talking about? This is gonna no, be ma'am. This is no prank, okay? There was a discussion that you had with my employee. The call, I have the you call on will be pulled. Right now. I'm so glad you said that. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry. I want to hear what you're saying about Mickey Mouse because I don't know where this is going. I'm trying to figure it out as well, sir. I would appreciate. Can I go off speaker for a moment? No. Why? I can barely hear you. I, you're very distant. Okay, can you hear me better now? Yes, thank you. Who, who, what is your name, sir? My name is Patrick. What's your name? Gobi. Gobi? I am the manager here. Yes. your I believe that was your wife. Your wife was just telling me that there was an altercation with the previous person that you spoke to, correct? Correct. Did you catch a name? No, I didn't. I, he had a British accent. Um, he was a male. Oh, and what exactly happened, sir? Why did, how did the conversation take such a left turn? I, I honestly don't know. We were talking about, I told him a, a whole rundown of the issues we'd had. And, and as we were finishing up that part, he said he was going to start to do something. And then my wife said something about, it's been about three months we've been going back and forth with the, with the warranty department, trying to figure out whether or not they had this thing in stock. And I was telling him, We've called okay, them that's... multiple times and they never call us I'm back. Sorry. And then and then he stopped and he said something. He thought my wife had said something that he said was abusive. And I asked okay, him I, I understand, if he could sir. repeat it. Again, the calls are recorded. I will deal with my associate on my end. I believe what he was trying to do, what that gentleman your wife told me to call him a gentleman. What that associate was trying to do was to contact the actual warehouse. I understand at that point, I'm just reading through the notes. At that point, saying here that she became upset and made threatening comments. She didn't no. say anything. The she said nothing. Can you just hold on a second? I would like to get through this first. You didn't say anything abusive. Fine, come here and say it. Whatever you think you said. I, I was listening to what she said, and it wasn't anything abusive. Could you get a transcript? Apparently there was a comment about this is the same thing that goes on and no one's willing to help us. Again, I'm just reading through these comments here. If May I contact the actual warehouse, sir, so I can try to get some type of, you know, Sure, yeah. I would resolution. Like welcome that. I was just trying to give him some reference from where we're coming from. Okay. And again, I, I do, I sincerely apologize to you and your wife, okay? I, I don't know exactly what, what, you know, what's going on here, but. Let, let me get this figured out on my end. Okay. I'd appreciate that. And if okay. Um, is that you pressing the buttons? Yes, sir. One moment. I know that. I'm Mike. Hey, Young Ying, uh, this is Scoby. Uh, I have a order number here I, I would like to go ahead and provide to you. Is that okay? Give me order. Yes. It's 
Uh, there should be some Bluetooth speakers. Do you see anything like that on your end? Uh, yeah, we go. It goes. It's uh, we got. We you go out. It's out on the way. All right, let me repeat that. I'm not sure you understand me. One two One, two, two eight two. nine seven six. Yeah, it's umbrella. Umbrella. Uh, umbrella with no speaker. Umbrella. Yeah, there, there was. Yeah, the sp the Bluetooth speaker. No Bluetooth speaker. No. We keep the boost. We keep. We sell separate. We keep. We sell the, uh, extra money. Extra money. We keep, oh. and then we sell. And another, and another box. So we got a, a promo, promo item. Young, young. I have the customer on the line with us. Uh, so it's a, there's three parties here. Uh, sir, are you I'm still there? Anyway, I would, I, yo, ha, ha, ha. Never mind. We, we send out. We sent out already. What do you want? What do you, what do you need? We got uh, tra a tracking. Young, 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 young. One moment. I understand you're saying you sent it out. Just give me a moment, sir. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, thank you. I, I'm. I apologize about this. Uh, I, I, I have the actual warehouse uh, manager here on the line, Byung Young, Mike, and Byung Young, are you there? Yeah. Could you, could you please explain the situation? Okay. We have umbrella with, with, with a speaker. You, you don't get the speaker. You don't get speaker. You got to pay extra for the speaker. The speaker, extra. Otherwise, we're making no money. We're like, uh, making no money on umbrella is so cheap. If we sell cheap umbrella with no speaker. So what, 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 now what? What you bother me about? What, what, what do you want me to do? Sorry, they can come from the career, get six weeks, six to eight weeks, get stuck, they go to the, uh, the, 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 the custom, right? They make past custom, and then they get there. He can follow the tracking. You follow me, at sir? I, I do a good job here. You keep Does that make me. sense to you, sir? Is, is that does that provide any resolution? Uh, no, we ordered a package. Yeah, please go ahead and speak to Byung Young. I'm here listening. I'm here listening. I'm taking notes. Just go ahead and have a have a conversation. <laughs> okay, I ordered an umbrella with the Bluetooth speaker as a package deal. We did not get the Bluetooth speaker, and that's what I wanted. Right, right. right. I got the Bluetooth speaker. It's a Bluetooth speaker. It's too cheap. It's too cheap. You buy stuff too cheap. You spec too much. You spec too much discount, and you spec too many discount, and we make a no money. I haven't had a raise in two years. I sell speaker. I remember that speaker. Why? Why would I buy any speaker? Where well, it's wet. You have a speaker on the phone. You have speaker in your pocket. You have speaker everywhere. Why umbrella have a speaker? This is this is a prank. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to go because this is unreal. This is not a real person or a real okay, company. Okay, Young, oh, oh, sir, hang on the line. I'm going to end the call. Sir, hang on the line. Hang on the line. Uh, Byung Young, uh, I appreciate your uh, your business there. Have yourself a lovely evening. Thank you. Bye. Sir? Yeah? Yeah, it was hard making heads or tails there. Uh, I believe... Did, did you catch what, what he was saying? Sir? Sir, this is Ron. Has your wife put a dick away yet? I think he, oh, he's gone. <laughs> that was great. Dude, I must have been locked. My neighbor's texting me. I got my bed window open in my bedroom, so he must have heard me. He's like, what the hell's going on over there? <laughs> You should answer him as Pyongyang Mike. Just be like, you're not I your business.